He's now playing hardball never mind Angeball. Angie Postacoglu lays down Celtic law on Australia trip. And the Celtic manager, Angie Postacoglu, has urged the SFA to address the issues which have led to VAR causing a storm of controversy in Scottish football before the season reaches a critical juncture. Celtic Saad Haksabanovic won't be given permission to break club protocol and join up with the Montenegro international squad ahead of friendlies against Slovenia and Slovakia. The 23-year-old forward was called up by manager Maja Drag Radulovic, who was clearly unaware of Celtic's stance when it comes to releasing players for international games next week. Scotland manager Steve Clark has already expressed disappointment at being denied the chance to pick Celtic players for the friendly with Turkey on Wednesday night in Diyarbakir. It has not been made an official FIFA window, so Celtic are within their rights to insist players come with them instead to Australia, where they are competing in the Sydney Super Cup. Only those heading with their countries to the World Cup will be missing. Manager Angie Postacoglu has confirmed that skipper Callum McGregor, who is recovering from a knee injury, will also travel. Everyone who isn't going to the World Cup is going to Australia with us, said Postacoglu. It is not an issue. FIFA has allowed clubs to make their own decisions because it is not an officially recognised international window and we have made our own decision as a club. Saad will be coming to Australia with us. Defender and current stand and skipper, Cameron Carter-Vickers, is the most recent Celtic player to learn the good news about a World Cup call-up. He has been included in the United States squad and could feature in group games against England, Wales and Iran. It will be a once-of-a-lifetime experience for him, said Postacoglu. He will learn so much from it both as a player and as a person, and I think it will benefit us when he returns. I was disappointed when Kyogo and Rio failed to make the Japan squad, and also Matt O'Reilly and Jota, who were on the periphery of their national squads. If Scotland had qualified, we would have welcomed that with open arms. I'm delighted for Cameron, he added. It's brilliant for him, and it's brilliant for our club. I think he saw coming to Celtic as an opportunity for him to take his football to another level, and he has done that. Celtic fans were incensed when a Jota goal against Motherwell at Fir Park on Wednesday night was ruled out for offside, despite television evidence appearing to show the Portuguese winger was onside. The SFA released a statement yesterday admitting that one of the cameras, which was positioned on the 18-yard line, had not captured an appropriate view of the incident. I OK YA cheating Huns. Celtic won the Cinch Premiership match 2-1 and maintained their seven-point lead over Sevco at the top of the table, has questioned if the new technology was ready to be rolled out last month. We won the game on Wednesday night so it was not an issue, he said. They are saying they have evidence that Jota was offside. That is fine. Look human beings are involved and you have to allow for human error. But the fact is the camera wasn't pointing towards where it should have been. But when there is a decision at a critical juncture in the season do they have the evidence to support the decision? Okay, they have introduced it so let's get on with it. But don't make it the star of the show. I don't think it helps anyone referees, clubs, players or supporters to have VAR as the focus of the discussion. For me, it is about the impact that it has on the game. Postacoglu added, for me, it is not about the decisions. You are always going to get decisions that you perhaps don't agree with. Our focus is on the process. We had a whole week of fanfare before it got introduced. But VAR is not a new thing. We have had it in Australia for three or four years now. It has been about for quite a while now. Our referees have used it in Europe in the past. Tell it as it is boss, they are cheating Masonic handshaking twats. Lit. Roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party.